Hey, what's up guys? I am Puneet and you are welcome here on this channel where we regularly upload the chemical engineering related content. And if you're new here, consider subscribing this channel. So on this platform, we have a special playlist on dimensionless numbers. And in this list, today we are adding a new dimensionless number known as Fourier number, which we also remember as dimensionless time for a temperature change to occur. And we generally see this number this Fourier number in the transient heat transfer conditions. So transient means we are, you remember we have two different conditions. One is a steady and unsteady. In steady state conditions, the parameters will not change with time. Unsteady, the parameters will change with time. So what I mean from the transient heat transfer is that the conditions are unsteady or the materials temperature varies continuously with time. In many applications, you will see that the temperatures are varying with time like quenching or annealing and we require to understand that temperature variation. And we use this Fourier number to describe and predict the temperature response of the materials undergoing transient conductive heating or cooling. So in a way, we can indicate if the phenomenon is quick or slow by studying this Fourier number. So like I mentioned before, we use this dimensionless number in the transient heat transfer calculations, but in some cases you will also see in the mass transfer calculations. So now coming to the definition, so Fourier number is equal to the rate of heat conduction to rate of thermal storage. What it means, how the heat is conducting through a material and how that heat is storing in that material. So on the basis of Fourier number or having the values of Fourier number, you can find that where you should use that material, whether to transfer the heat or to store the heat in that material in the form of MCP delta T. In the form of mass transfer, we just replace the thermal diffusi diffusivity that is alpha with the D that is the mass diffusivity. That's the only difference between them. Now talking about this T, T is the time at which we are analyzing the parameters and finally is the characteristic length. So let's understand this characteristic length. So it is equal to volume per unit surface area. So let's say you have a steel ball in the normal ambient condition in the surrounding fluid and this L is equal to, so volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube and surface area will be 4 pi r square. So just divide them, you will reach to your characteristic length. So talking about a very important parameter that is thermal diffusivity. It's a very important and I will show you an example also that how we can use the thermal diffusivity which is the property of any material to understand the complete phenomena. So you might have heard this question that why lighter bodies cool faster than heavier bodies and we will use the thermal diffusivity as a tool to explain this question. So alpha is equal to K upon rho Cp where alpha is thermal diffusivity, K is the thermal conductivity of the material, Cp is the specific heat capacity which is in joule per kg per kelvin and finally the rho as the density which is kg per meter cube. So you know that lighter bodies have less density as compared to heavier body which means if you look at the formula Alpha will be more for the lighter body as compared to heavier body. So you will have more thermal diffusivity in the lighter bodies as compared to heavier bodies. Now put this value in the Fourier number where we have alpha t by L square. Now alpha is more in the lighter bodies and alpha is less in heavier bodies which means the more alpha means more NFO. That is the Fourier number which means the rate of heat conduction is really good in that material. So lighter bodies will cool faster as compared to heavier bodies. Now we are going to discuss about a very special case of transient heat transfer which is the lumped system analysis where we will use and see how we can use the Fourier number. But first we have to understand that what is this lumped system analysis. So it is a situation where we neglect the temperature distribution inside the solid and only deal with the heat transfer between the solid and the ambient fluids. What I mean is that we assume that the temperature inside the solid is uniform and is equal to the surface temperature. And this situation arises when the Biot number is less than 0.1. 
and it is because of the definition of the Biot number which says that the Biot number is equal to the resistance to internal heat flow divided by the resistance to external heat flow. And when the Biot number is very less which means that there will be no resistance, no temperature gradient within the body. And we consider the temperature is uniform throughout the body. For more details about this Biot number you can access our channel to go through this Biot number. So now when you will derive the heat transient heat transfer equation considering the lumped system analysis you will finally end up with T minus T infinity divided by T i minus T infinity which is equal to exponential to the power minus Biot number into Fourier number where T is the temperature of the body at any instant of time T infinity is the surrounding temperature T i is the initial temperature of the body. So this is where you can use the Fourier number. Now let's conclude the complete Fourier number in the physical significance. So like I mentioned we can use this dimensionless number to indicate if the phenomenon is quick or slow while or we can say to measure the coldness or hotness of the body. We can also use this dimensionless number to measure whether we have to do the heat conduction in that material or to store the heat in it. So if you look at the values of the Fourier number and the, if you will see that the Fourier number is increasing which means the heat conduction is good in that material and if it is degrading so we, which means that the material's temperature will rise because of MCP delta T because the thermal storage is better in that material. We have also seen that we use this Fourier number along with the Biot number in a special case of the transient heat transfer which is the lumped system analysis. In the starting of the video we also discussed about why the lighter bodies cool faster compared to the heavier bodies and we concluded that the thermal diffusivity is the main reason behind it. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video worth it, like this video, subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for future notification. With this, I am signing off. See you soon in the next video.